Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, a presenter here at BOTB. And we're here this morning to judge the latest midweek car competition, which ran from the 22nd to the 28th of October 2020. And just before I hand over to the lawyer this morning, once again, massive congratulations to last week's winner of the midweek car competition, Sash Paggi, winning not only a brand new Mercedes A45S AMG, but also £10,000. I'd now like to pass over to Jamie Tashinsky from Onside Law, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. Good morning, my name is Jamie Tashinsky from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging process this morning. First, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditing company, Assets. I would now like today's judges to introduce themselves, and using the secure link provided, mark on the screen where they think the center of the ball should be. The group will then come to a final panel decision. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer, having played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Good morning, my name's Peter Giorgio. I am a football and futsal referee. I'm Nigel Hicks. I've been a Supply League match official for the best part of 30 years and I'm an experienced football administrator. My name's Roger Wheeler. I'm a referee and I've been refereeing and lining for more than 30 years. Good morning. My name's Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee in footballer and I last played on Saturday. My name is Chloe Morgan and I'm a goalkeeper for Crystal Palace Women. Good morning, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, mentor, tutor and observer. Good morning, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orient. Hi, I'm Jenna Scalacci, former retired professional footballer. I'm now coaching girls between the ages of 8 and 15. Good morning. My name is Andy Braithwaite. I'm a football referee, mentor and licensed observer. Judges, please now come to a final panel decision. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the 10 individual selections. Hi, Jamie. Hi, everyone. Morning. Hi, Alain. Hi. Hi. Uh, so, yeah, we've got uh, two players in the shots. Um, I think the, the ball is dropping, you know, towards the player in blue. Um, he's, uh, it looks like he's, he's lean, leaning backwards against, you know, uh, his opponent. And he's going to probably, you know, chest the ball. Um, Although his head is looking, you know, towards this direction, uh, I think his eyes, as you can see, is frowning a bit and he's looking a bit steeper uh, than uh, the, 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 the direction of his head. Uh, yeah, so therefore, yeah, I thought he's, yeah, he's, a, he's a bit steeper than, yeah. Uh, he's looking towards this direction, basically. So uh, the player in the right-hand side, you know, with the uh, red and black shirt, uh, I think he's looking, you know, slightly below horizontal. Uh, there's not much he can do. He's waiting, you know, for the opponent, you know, to, to control the ball and, uh, and basically just standing there. Uh, I don't think he's got any chance to head the ball. Um, so um, let's draw a few lines to see where we are. Uh, I'm going to start with a blue one. Uh, so we, we've got a clear view on his eye and he's gonna go this way okay now the player he's got his eyes half closed okay so <clears throat> What we have here in terms of crosses, we've got a, a cluster of, I would say, seven uh, crosses uh, right in the middle. We've got Chloe, who's a bit higher. Um, 
we've got uh, Matt uh, slightly lower and uh, uh, it's uh, Leo, I think, uh, who's a bit more on the right. So uh, Leo and uh, Chloe, you are a bit higher, you know, uh, looking at, you know, this play on the right hand side. I think you're a bit la uh, higher than, you know, uh, all of us. Uh, Chloe, you, you quite, you know, what I'll do for the, the time being, I, I'm going to remove you because you're a bit, you know, further away, you know, compared to, to anyone. So, but uh, looking at uh, Leo, uh, you're the highest uh, now of all of us. Uh, can, can you can you explain your, your choice? Hi, Alain. Uh, Hi. Yeah, so from the player in blue, I, I felt he was looking uh, quite steeply. Yeah. So, uh, but also with the player in red, if you... If you look at his body shape, he's kind of got both arms up. So I think he's just trying to get as close as he can to the to the player in blue without fouling him. Um, I still think there's, you know, he still might lean into the player in blue at the end and maybe uh, present his head to head the ball. Um, okay. So, yeah, just looking at his forehead, obviously he's going to head the ball and he's going to use his forehead. So that's why I put it slightly higher. Okay. Okay, I got you. I got you. Um, Matt, uh, you're the lowest yeah. uh, than everyone. Um, can you explain your, your decision? Yeah, I sort of slightly differ from my opinion with Leo. I thought the player in blue was, I think you said it was sort of dominating the player in red, it's sort of leaning back into him. Um, and, and I just took a view from uh, the red and black player's eye. I just thought he was looking slightly lower. Um, it may well be that if he's being backed into, he could be you know, refocusing himself on the player in blue who's coming into him. I wasn't 100% sure about that. But obviously, I am, I am lower than everybody else and a little bit of out the way. So um, I think that's a panel decision. I, but I just thought it, the ball, as you said, imminently coming into the player in blue. OK. OK. Um... You know, I mean, you know, due to the, I, I put Chloe back and, you know, as I said, you're nearly on the same level as Leo, you know, from, you know, this player's point of view. So what I'll do for the time being, I'll, I'm going to remove both of you and see, you know, the average. Uh, so it's, it's coming slightly down. And what I'll do, I re remove also Matt uh, because he's, you know, slightly out of the cluster also. Uh, so which brings, you know, the average in the, in the middle of the cluster. Uh, so, yeah, if I put the, you know, the magnifier here, yeah, we've got all the crosses apart from uh, Nigel, who's slightly, who, who's on the, on the edge, I would say, yeah. Uh, Nigel, um, mm. I think you're in line, uh, you know, with, you know, a few, few, uh, few of us here, uh, you're in line with, uh, who's that, Jenna. Uh, so what, what can, can you explain your, you know, your, your choice? Yeah, so uh, similar to some of my colleagues, I felt the uh, player in blue is uh, is in the box position for the ball. I think it's dropping. I think he's leaning back on the player in red, forcing the player in red to put his arms out, uh, indicating that he's not pushing the blue, the blue's pushing him. Um, and he's looking over the top of the player in blue, who may even be crouching as that ball comes in. Um, and uh, I felt the uh, player in red is is looking roughly parallel, although you can see the tops of his eyelids, his actual eyeball, when I looked at it, I thought he's looking roughly straight out from his that's head. Right. Um, okay. I think, obviously, the player in blue is looking up. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's my cross there. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think he's, he's looking quite, you know, quite horizontal, you know, slightly yeah. below. horizontal, that's the word, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, uh, what I'll do, I'll remove, uh, you know, the lines, and I'm going to put the, you know, the circle on the, on the cross as it is. As it, you know, as I said, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's covering, you know, uh, I would say what uh, six crosses plus Nigel on, on the edge, and I'll draw a few lines from here actually. Okay, so uh, yeah, no. I, you know, I think, you know, to me personally, uh, I think the, the, the average, you know, uh, kind of work. Uh, now I know we've got, you know, three judges out, but uh, as, as we said, Chloe uh, was a bit higher than everyone. Uh, 
due to the fact that you know Leo was on the same line uh, from the this player, uh, I think it was uh, it was logical if we remove Chloe, we remove uh, uh, Leo also, and Matt was a bit uh, uh, lower. So I suggest we go for this uh, you know this uh, average um, if uh, everyone is happy. Um, I guess uh, uh, yeah, I'll start with Matt. You know, I guess. Uh, uh, you know, you, you mentioned you thought the you know the the ball was a bit lower than that. But yeah, I just thought the red player's eye was looking a bit lower. But you know, there's, as you said, there's seven in a cluster, um, and I think as we've done before as a panel decision, I think it's uh, it, it makes logical sense to to have the three of us removed. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Matt. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, let's go to a panel decision. So we got we got Matt, Peter. Uh, what's your thoughts? You know, with the average as it is. I mean, the average that does work. Um, I, I would like to have had Matt, Matt back in there in regards to, uh, I do think he's looking lower, but as, as an average uh, uh, with Matt re removed, uh, yes, that's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, Nigel? Okay. Yes. Okay. Fine with that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Roger? Yeah, I'm fine with the seven. That's quite a tight cluster there. So I think that looks good. It is indeed. Okay, yeah. Uh, Chloe, uh, yeah, uh, we remove your cross. You know, uh, as you can see, it was a bit higher than anyone. Are you happy with that, the average as it is? Uh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I think the general consensus, like you said, is that the yeah. majority of the judges feel it's in that um, okay. area, so that's fine, yeah. Okay, thank you. Hugh? Yeah, happy with the average. Good, good, good. Leo? Yeah, I think with us three taken out, it's, it's, it's actually better, yeah. Okay, thanks, Leo. Uh, Jenna? I'm happy with the average. Okay, thank you. And Andy? Yeah, I'm happy with the seven average. Okay, perfect. Okay, so uh, let's remove this. Okay, um, we, we've made our decision. We, we're going to judge with the average as it is. Okay, thanks, Salam. Is everyone happy with that, I assume? Uh, if so, uh, please submit or judge an average. Okay. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are 1002989. These coordinates will now be passed to the auditing company Assets to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.